good YouTube, it's your boy Jaden. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about women that are on some bullshit, okay? W women who flake, cancel plans, last minute, just treat you like garbage. So, you know, in those moments where you're like, yo, I'm a human being too. I'm not just a dude, I'm like a human being. I got feelings, I got a schedule, I got life too, okay? And women just like, treating you like an expendable uh, expendable commodity, okay? And so, hold on, I spit on my screen. Okay, I got it off. And so, we are not expendable commodities, we are men, okay? And a lot of men, what they do, what they do is they're really like, they get butt hurt, they get mad, they try to call out the girls, and I don't think that's an effective strategy. Uh, a lot of men try to do the moral high ground, I don't think that's an effective strategy either, especially if you want to be successful women, you have to realize that a lot of women are on some bullshit, okay? Women, some women are masculine and they're, you know, just like, all right, I like you, you like me, this is going great, I find you handsome, I find you attractive, you find me beautiful, let's do something, okay? And they're going to be very, very active in the process. Those women are usually masculine women, okay? More masculine women who have more masculine uh, uh, tendencies. But a lot of feminine women, they're chaotic. They're all over the place. They're emotional and their emotions change from moment to moment to moment. They don't think of themselves as bullshit. They just think of themselves as emotional and as women. And the thing with those chaotic women is, yes, they have a lot of chaos, and they can be fucking pretty fucking annoying to deal with. But when they're into you and things are going great, it's like one of the sweetest things ever, you know? It's like you got this like feminine woman, this nice feminine energy around you. And then on the opposite end, you got the the the, the, the destructor type of energy, the, the Medusa type of energy, okay? And so those women are, are like volatile like this, not like this, okay? And so when you go out, in the dating market, you're going to meet some masculine women and it's going to be pretty straightforward, you know? And I, I appreciate that. I think that's pretty cool. But naturally, as a man, I'm always drawn to the more feminine women. I just don't like the chaos. I know you don't like the chaos. And I talk to a lot of men around the world. You know, we, we never like it when, when women are on some bullshit. So I want to talk to you about what to do and how to think about it in this video today. And so I have something called the round table. Okay, I just call it the round table. But basically, I gather together with men here where I live and we discuss women and their bullshit. Okay, sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's once a month. It's all private discussions, nothing is recorded, uh, and it's all just cool. We're just chopping it up between dudes. Okay, and I only meet guys whom, who, who I know have slept with a lot of women. And so, there's some guys in my circle, they slept with 500 women, 400 women, 300 women. They're, they're fucking on a weekly basis. They're, uh, they're having dates all the time, etc., etc. okay? I myself belong in the same category, okay? And so when I talk to the men, I talk to them about not what I think is going on, but what happened. I went on this date with this girl on Monday, this and this happened. I brought this girl home on a Wednesday, this and this happened. I hooked up with her, da 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 da. So we're talking about things that are actively happening on a week to week, month to month basis, where we failed, the successes we had, etc. etc. And it's always very interesting discussions. And what I found from sitting down with these guys, with my close circle, is to find, I found out that we, one thing that we all have in common, whether we had a successful week or a month, whether we slept with a little girls or a lot of women, we continuously experience bullshit, okay? Girls, uh, like, we all have it in common, okay? Girls flaking, girls canceling, girls changing plans, uh, girls, like, crazy shit okay i have one of my friends like a club promoter okay uh some some of the girls that uh, he sleeps with on a on a continuous basic uh, basis they're like hey can we come to your club tonight and he's like yeah and he brings them in and they're like oh my god they're texting him because he works outside right so they're inside the club takes oh my god i can't wait till you get off and then when he's about to get off he goes into the club they're making out with another dude and and, and then he's like all right okay 
And then, you know, they go home with a dude and they hit him up the next day. Hey, yo, what's up? And he's like, I saw you, like you were making out with another guy. And they're like, no, 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 we didn't do that. We didn't, we didn't make out with another guy. And it's like, I saw you do that. Like, you know, I saw you make out with another guy. And, and they're changing the stories. Um, you know, girls are like, you know, there's a lot of girls out here who are players. And so I want to say this. It doesn't matter what occupation you're in. You could be a promoter. You can be a guy like me who's a dating coach. We're all, or you can be a lawyer, whatever, um, doctor, whatever, right? Architect. You will go out if you watch my videos and you will meet women and they will give you bullshit. And we all share it in common across all platforms, okay? Across all men. I've even met some successful men, some artists, okay? Girls still come to their table in the club clean up all the alcohol, leave without giving nothing back, okay? And so it doesn't matter what type of game you have, whether you, you're, you're doing social circle or you're like me doing one-on-one -on -one dates and more one-on-one -on -one focus, it doesn't matter. It's not personal, okay? It's not personal, okay? And if you react, if you send the girl a long essay message, if you, uh, you just react with anger and emotionality uh, and you just show women that you're emotional, they're, they're just going to think that you're weak. Okay, so imagine in her, in her mind or in her emotions, she's not thinking I'm on some bullshit, you know. She's just like, oh, I feel this. I feel that. Like a little kid. Oh, I feel this. I want to do this. That. I'm going to kiss him. I'm going to go here. Ah, oh, oh, my stomach hurts. I'm not going to go on this date. La, 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 la. And all of a sudden, she gets a long essay message. Yo, you flaked on me again. Like, da, 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 da. And she's just going to look at that message and say, this dude is a little pussy, you know? Or w when, when, when you react emotionally, you show the women that you're not strong. Like imagine, imagine like, imagine somebody breaks into your house and you're, um, she's your girlfriend. And then like, you might not translate it to this analogy that I'm about to give you, but they do in their mind, they're gonna think, oh my God, some, an intruder is here and my guy is gonna freak out, uh, you know, get all emotional. They wanna meet a man who's ice, who's calm, who's present, and who either moves it forward with her without being emotional in that kind of bitchy, jaded way, okay, or stop. And so that's what you have to do. If you, if you think that a woman's BS is too much, just do the quiet exit. That's what I do nowadays, okay? And so let's say I'm in the DMs with a girl making plans and this is the second time she flaked or whatever. I just stop. I don't tell her, I don't call her out. I just stop, the quiet exit. Same way, if I'm in a first date with a girl or in real life, okay, let's say I'm in a club with a girl, okay? So not on a first date, I just meet her in a bar and she's on some bullshit, you know? And me and my friend we were talking to this girl this other weekend, she was American girl. She's like, I'm so hot. She was not that hot. She was like a six, bro. I'm so hot. Men need to take me out on dates. Men need to pay. I'm 19. I deserve this, that. I just walked away from the conversation. I didn't even get mad. I didn't get mad. I didn't get annoyed. I didn't, I was just like, yo, I'm in a club full of 500 plus women. Uh, you know, why would I even waste one more second arguing back with her or like trying to figure out the right way to navigate the conversation. And so if you're with a girl and it's the first time you meet, okay, she has to be feminine, alive, fun, um, agreeable, cool, interesting. Okay, now you move it forward, okay? Same thing if you're on a date, okay? If she's alive, fun, cool, interesting, she contributes to the vibe, Boom, you move it forward. If she's on some bullshit, sitting there with her uh, arms crossed, like drilling you with interview question after interview question, she's barely laughing or this or that. And you're like, this girl be on some bullshit. Like who shows up to a date like that? Okay. You can again do the quiet exit. You can say, hey, you know what? Uh, it's been fun catching up. I'm going to go home and work on some stuff. 
I got a long work day ahead tomorrow. You shut it down, okay? And then you go meet another girl the same night or you go out to the bar the same night or you go on another date the same night. Now, once in a while, it could be fun to explore that further, okay? And so when a woman is trying to give you shit, you can also push back. And so, for example, if you're on a date and she's giving you interview questions, you can say, are you a, are you a fucking detective or what? I didn't come on. I didn't come here to be like grilled with questions. And then you can flip the energy around, okay? And you can stop talking and just look at her. And if you're not talking and you're, you know, uh, silent, she will then feel that tension, that awkwardness, that, you know, that pressure. And then she will start to, to waver in her frame. So you can do little things like that. But I always found it in my honest and personal experience. If a girl is on some massive bullshit, and then I, you know, persevered through and I got laid with her and we started hanging out. She was still on some bullshit. Like some girls are just living a bullshit lifestyle. They got a bullshit mentality and they got bullshit beliefs and they, they're just on some bullshit. And for them, you know, they don't have much going on in their life. You know, maybe they study a little bit. They hate studying. Maybe they work at some you know, low end job and they don't like it. And their fun is playing with men. And that's what it is. Okay. And so once in a while, it could be fun to push those situations forward to also hook up with those girls to find out that, Hey, you know what? It wasn't really worth it. Okay. You got to find that out for yourself. But I would say many, 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 many times when I meet a girl who's alive, fun, feminine, cool, interesting, she has a giving energy, a sharing energy, and she's just pleasant to be around. And that's how I met her. And I continue forward. Well, that's the kind of girl I do end up like she, the trend continues. Okay. So you get that type of woman. If you push forward, if you create something with her. And I found if I met girls who were on some massive bullshit. Okay. 90% of the cases. When I ended up with them, I ended up with a girl that was on massive bullshit. Okay. And maybe in 10% of the cases, in my opinion, they changed. Okay. And so coming back full circle here, it's not personal and you don't have to react. And I think that is actually the fundamental thing that I want to impart on you in this video. It's like, you don't need to get happy about it. You don't need to get sad about it. You don't just don't react and learn. If a girl's on some BS, just and that's it. You, do, you don't even need to engage with your own emotions whatsoever. And most of the times it's a waste of fucking time. And so that's all I wanted to say in this video today. Again, it's not personal. It happens to me. It happens to you, your other friend, his other friend, the guy that you know that is ultra successful women always getting laid and the guy at the bottom of the totem pole who got laid like once in his life and never again. Every man experiences this feminine bullshitty thing that happens. Okay. And it's just up to you to judge whether you, you, you want to handle it or not. And if you don't want to handle it, don't make the women feel bad about it. Just do a quiet exit and, you know, take your energy somewhere else where you know that you have a better opportunity. And at the end of the day, it's not about how much you get laid. It's about whom you end up spending your time with sexually and non-sexually. Okay. Cause sometimes it might take a little while to build it up to that level where you do sleep with the woman. Now, a lot of you motherfuckers are not subscribed. Okay. So make sure if you like this video to hit the goddamn like button and subscribe. And I see y'all my playboys in that next video. Peace.